turn down for what? <clears throat> What's going on internet? IG here again today, back with another Linux distro review. Today we're checking out the very recently released Manjaro 0.8.13. So if you don't know what sort of distribution Manjaro or Manjaro is by now, then you should know that it is a Arch based distribution. Now don't get me wrong, it is not, it is not an Arch Linux clone or fork or anything like that. It's based off the architecture that Arch Linux started with. It's become well and truly its own little beast now. But the cool thing is you still get to play around with the stuff that's in the AUR or the Arch user repository also known as the greatest software bank known to man. Uh, if there's ever been a piece of software created for Linux, it'll be in the AUR. So that's what's fun about using Manjaro. Manjaro. You are able to use the, a, a more stable system with more stable core software, but you still get to play around with a lot of the perks that Arch Linux users get to enjoy. So let's tuck into 0.8.13 and see what's changed. I'm messing around with the XFCE desktop, uh, but they do also have a pretty kicking Plasma 5 desktop as well. So let's check this out and see what our thoughts are. So let's have a look at the, some of the things that I've noticed that have changed since the last time that I had a look at Manjaro. First of all, you've got some great options down here in the toolbar. Uh, it's worth mentioning, of course, that XFCE is at its latest revision, as you would expect, as is most of the software in here. We're not super bleeding edge, but we're certainly not lagging behind the 8-ball too much. We're chasing stability more than anything else. XFCE, the latest rev, has a few additions, basically features that have been added to Thunar as a file manager, and there's also a bit more tweakability with uh, some of the desktop settings, but really there's not a whole lot going on there in terms of the desktop environment. What I really love about Manjaro is how they take the stock look and feel of XFCE and add their own flavor to it, uh, including these wonderful icon packs that are based on the circle icon packs that I've, the icon packs that I've used in the past. Um, but they also have some great tools down here on the toolbar, such as the update manager and also the graphical package manager. Now, as you can see, Pac-Man is already running, so it's not gonna let me uh, launch both at once, but if I have a look in the package manager, you can see this is actually a pretty polished package manager, especially for the sort of stuff that most users are going to want to achieve uh, with a distribution that's based on Arch Linux, or at least has access to that. Um, so you can see here we've got some fantastic groups here, and that makes it really simple. If you're wanting to come in and make sure that you install everything the first time around, um, then this is this is the this is the way you're going to want to do it. Uh, state, we all know what that is, and repositories. Now you've got a few different repositories in the um, in, Man in Manharo as a as a Linux distribution. Um, you've also you've got these extra ones in here, which give you not quite a community repository, but mainly mainly the ones that um, that are going to stay a little bit more up to date than what the ones in the core will, um, as the ones in the core need to stay relatively stable compared to the ones in the extra, which don't really affect the system stability all that much, and so they can be kept up to date a little bit more. Community repository, obviously there's enough to be said really. Uh, there's plenty of software in here to try out, and if it's not in there, you can always search and you get results in the AUR as well, which is awesome. In many ways, Manjaro is almost the ideal middleman's uh, Linux in terms of a Linux distribution that is going to suit the intermediate user perfectly. It's not going to mess up the stability of their system, so they're constantly patching holes in it. But it, at the same time, it's going to give them a lot of the fun stuff that the more advanced users want to play around with uh, without the endangering their system. Oh, and did I mention it's a rolling release? So then there's that. So it gives you a pretty standard set of applications installed by default. You get all your codecs, flash, stuff like that. And I mean, I could run through all these different categories here, but I'm sure most of you watching, you already know what these applications do and how they work. Um, but if you don't know, um, if you don't know what these applications are and how they work, you can rest assured that essentially this desktop, this distribution out of the box, even if you don't ever connect to the internet, has what you need in a daily distribution or a daily desktop desktop operating system. Hardware support is pretty spot on and the performance I might add is actually pretty stellar. You can see that I'm using barely any CPU at all and I'm using about 20% of 2 gig of RAM so you can see this is a very resource efficient distribution and I love that. 
You get a fantastic little welcome document that greets you the first time that you boot up Manjaro when you want to uh, have quick links to things like the documentation, release info, the Wikipedia, all that fun stuff. Of course, I'd have to use this distribution a little longer if I was going to give it a rating in terms of stability and usability over time. But for right now, for first impressions, for using this system for a couple of hours, I'm really impressed and it's really aces all round in terms of the major things that you want in an operating system. I know a lot of you out there have run this distribution before in the past and if you haven't run this distribution, then I definitely recommend you at least give it a try, whether it's in a virtual machine or on a live USB. They've made some great improvements to their installer so you can install the distribution in a lot more versatile settings now including SD cards so forth and so on um, so really there's never a better time to try out Manjaro and see if it meets that perfect middle ground that I think it does between the beginners distribution um, and the expert in, uh, and the experts distribution. So I really think Manjaro has quite a bit going for it. Manjaro as a, as a distribution has come such a long way uh, in the last couple of years and I've actually got a link right here where you can find a, uh, a video review that I did of one of the first releases of Manjaro back a few years ago and uh, you can see the difference in how far they've come since then. But let me know what you think about Manjaro in the comment section below. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus as per usual. If you liked what you saw here, hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff on a regular basis. I will see you all in the next video. We need to get back to our best of series. So best of photo managers is coming up soon. I will see you all in the next video. I think that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I suppose it's worth mentioning that Fedora as a distribution, I feel, is designed to cater to the needs of Linux enthusiasts and Linux developers. Turn down for what? <clears throat>